Hello friend, in this video I go to show how to create a template VM with Cloud Niche on Proxmox. You can do that in one command to create that, but I go to break down all the commands for doing that. That's an easy way for create a template. In this template, you can clone and create another VMs with exactly the same configuration you have before and install Kubernetes or install GitLab or install anything you want to. And in the next video, I will to use this template to create VMs with Terraform on Proxmox. So let's start this video. Okay, you can see my Proxmox mock with the full storage with the 500 gigabytes in here and uh, fix the upgrades for the packages in here. So if you don't know how to do that, I have a video how to fix the subscription packages and how to create the local with all the storage you have in your Proxmox. But let's start to create our first template with CloudNet. So in the terminal, I need to access my Proxmox. You can hear, put in my password. Okay, I'm Proxmox. Okay, in the first time, let's use my make file with all the commands in one time and create this template in the fast way. First thing, you need to install make in the Proxmox server. I have a make here and make work fine. So let's download my make file for my Git repository. Okay, I have the make file here. Okay, let's run one command and that's go to create a template for us. Make all and then go to create that for us. Wait, now they download the image, they take a little time. Okay, it's done. In less than two minutes, you have a template with the Cloud Niche install in Proxmox with Ubuntu. That's the image I'm using here. So if you click in here, the template's in here. And if you click in Cloud Niche, you have the Cloud Niche in here. So let's put in my username. Okay, my username is in here. I will put my password now. Okay, I have my password. Now I'm going to put in my SSH public key here. Paste. That's a use for access my machines in my lab key. Is in here. Now let's configure the IP for okay. The IP will be then dynamic. And now click in here to clone and put it alpha. You see the machine is done. You have the alpha machine here. If you start this machine, okay. The machine start and let's wait a little bit just for have the IP for the machine. Okay, you have the machine here. Uh, if you go to summary, they have the IP in here, then it's two to nine. So I'm in the terminal on here. So let me exit here. The IP is 229. Let's try to access the machine. So yes. And I'm in the machine. If you go here, you see top. You have eight cores in the machine. You have six gigabytes memory. And if you check the F minus eight, you'll be at 51 gigabytes for the disk. And if you check the IP, IP eight, and you have the IP for the machine, that's the IP for the machine. So if you need to create a new machine, I just come in here and use this template to clone. In another video, I go to use Terraform to, to create this machine is automatic. And in the future, I can use Ansible. I can install Kubernetes or another application in these machines. So for now, we have this template in here. So, okay, let's break down this make file. Let's create the template file. Okay, in my GitHub, you have the make file that you use to create this template with your one command. So let's break down all the commands for this make file. You need to make because you need to run the make file that's have commands inside. So first thing, start the make file. The second one, you need to put in the variable ID. That's the ID for the template. So you need to check in your, in your Proxmox if you have anything with this number here. So if they try to use again, they will go to use in here, go to delete this guy here. So that's you don't want to. The next one, the name will be the name for the cloud niche template. So if you see here, you have the same name here. Next one, you need to have the cloud image. So that's the image for Ubuntu I'm use, and that's the last one with long time support. So if you go back in here, and if you put in the Google Cloud Ubuntu Cloud Images, that's the same image like the cloud provider give you when you try to install a virtual machine, and you say like, I want to use Ubuntu, I use Debian, I use a Cento. 
So they use this type of machine in here. So if you click in here, that's the LTS, the last LTS image. So we can go in here in the currents and you try to, you see in here, have a lot of different images in here. So the ones I go to use in here is MD664. That's the my processor. But if you use a Raspberry, a Raspberry Pi and you can check in here, they have different images for every single processor you have. So you can use that. But for the Proxmox, I use this MD64 image. So that's I go to put in here. So I just copy paste the link in here. That will be the image name. The same image name you have in here will be in here. So local storage, I use the local, but you can check like the storage you go to use for great system. You can put it the name in here. So that need to be the same in there. For the disk, I use the 50 gigabytes. And what will be the bridge? What will be the network? So you can back in your prop box and you see the network and you can put the name in there. The same name you have in here for the network, you can put it there. So I put the same name in there. So the command I run is the all. So they all go to do all the steps in one time, like you run all the commands. But right now I will break down one by one. So first ones, you need to start the liber here. So let's go back in here. Just put a make zero tab and you have start tool. So they go to start the tool you need to for uh, create the image. If you're back there. So next one, prepare the gear. So they go to create the template. I'm mean, using this template folder before. So let's go to delete the template you have here. RM and RS template. Make some changes in here. VI. Make those two changes. And uh, here I go to put 7,000. So we know nobody uses 7,000. Here. Done. So make. Number one, so they go to create the template again. Okay, the next one, they go to CD the folder you just create and download the image. So make two. Okay, they download the image and put it inside the template folder. Back to the make file. So right now you go to CD the template and you need to install the agent. That's the agent for Proxmox. So you can see the IP and the information in these uh this, this information we have in here coming for the guest agent so let me go back to the terminal so okay make three customize the image so let's start and the command i use for create the vm is in here so with all these information like the cpu memory the bridge the network you have in here so let's go back to the terminal okay in the number four you go to create the image so make four create vm so when you go back in here in the Proxmox, you see you have the VM 5000. In this VM, you don't have the hardware yet. But let's go back to my make file. And when you go to see here, they create the VM. The next one, we need to import our disk to our machine. So next one, number five, make number five, import disk. So now we're going to import the disk for the image you download and install the and you install the agent to the VM. So if you go back to the Proxmox, and now you see a disk in here. So you have our disk is attached to this machine in here. Okay, number six, you go to configure the VM. In the line 39, you go to set the IO for the storage. After that, you go line 40, you go to in each use the cloud in each in the storage in the line 41 you go to select this disk for the for the be the first for the boot for the machine the next one you go to use the v, vga serial that's the console console you have in here let's go to use this console for this machine and the next one you go to enable the agent so you can check the ip they go choose the pack to install in your animation. So let's run number six. Make six config machine. So they go to run the commands I just tell you guys. Let's go back to the Proxmox again. And now you can see 
you have the cloud init driver and you have in here the hard disk and that's you go to use the ones you have right now so number set you go to recite the disk and you go to put it, the 15 gigabytes the ones you put in the variable in here you go to resize this disk so let's run again make seven resize okay if you go back to proxmox and now the disk is 50 gigabytes okay let's go back to my make file let's one is convert the vms for template so let's go back to proxmox and you see you see here is a vm this is a template when you see like this little screen in here so let's run the script and see how this change so make eight great template now when you go back you see you have a template in here now okay now you have the template so let's go to the cloud niche now let's put in my username okay i put in my username let's put in my password okay i have my password now okay let's put in my public key in here okay i have my public key let's go to the ip configuration and i put it dynamic so they go to take one ip for my network i have my home lab okay so now i can clone and i put in matrix and i put in the full clone the clone okay done the machine is done in here let's start and let's go to the console in here okay the machine starts and now i have the ip in here so let's go back in here let's ace to my proxmox let's ssa the machine 230 that's the end yes and i'm in the machine now ip they have the ip it's stop they have other resource i put it for my my template and if i go to the f minus eight you see the storage you can see i have 50 gigabytes available for me okay with this template i go to create vms with terraform in my next video so you can create this automatic and in the future i can use the ansible to install some applications like kubernetes or gitlab in the machines okay friend that's it that's the easy way how to create templates with proxmox mox use the cloud init with make file with one command and you can break down the commands to learning and understand what's going on don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and put a comment if you have any question and i see you in the next one